Hi, I'm Sandy from Special Fork. Every afternoon, just before dinner, I get on Twitter and I answer what to cook for dinner questions. And recently, I've seen a lot about how to cook rice. Now, I do it the easy way. I put rice and water in a pot, I press the on switch, and I walk away. But if you don't have a rice cooker, I'm going to show you how my mother taught me to cook rice. And while it's not the definitive way, this is how our family has been cooking rice for generations. So to begin with, you need a heavy pot, and I'm going to add my rice. I'm putting a one and a half cups of rice in. And then I need to wash it. And I'm going to wash this until the water runs clear. And what I do is I use my hands as a sieve to catch the water. And we just repeat this until all the milky water disappears. Okay, I think that's done. Now I'm going to give it a good draining. Okay. So now I'm just going to straighten up the rice, put it in a single layer. And I'm going to add the water. Now here's a little trick my mother taught me. What you want is as much water as rice and you stick your finger into the rice and get a reading on how deep the layer of rice is. And then you put your finger above the rice and you try and get the water to that level. Actually it's about one to one. So you see it's just where my finger mark is. Now again I'm going to smooth out my layer of rice and then I'm going to set it to boil. Now, I'm going to put it on high and if you boil water with the lid on it's going to boil faster but it will also boil over. So I split the difference and I put my lid part way on to keep the heat in but also enough space so it doesn't boil over. It's just about coming to a boil now, so I'm going to put this on simmer and I'm going to cover it with the lid and it's going to sit this way. It's going to be on a slow cook for about eight minutes until all the water is absorbed into the rice. Let's have a look. All the water has been absorbed and so I'm going to turn off my heat and I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes. Do not open the lid because you want the residual steam and heat to finish cooking the rice. Then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Let's take a look. Perfect. So all we have to do is fluff this up and we're ready to serve. For more recipes and ideas on your smartphone, go to specialfork.com and follow me on Twitter at specialforksndy.